Hi, this is Maya with Rico. This video is how to use persistent highlighting. Persistent highlighting is the ability to have term hits highlighted on your documents, regardless of whether you've executed a search to get to those documents. So in my first example, we're going to talk about a native review. For instance, we'll review our custodian documents, and we will look for anything that has a privilege term hit, do a little priv review. So your persistent highlighting will show up in the document viewer. So when you click into the underlined control number, you're taken to the core reviewer interface. Here in this A icon, when I mouse over, you can see it says show hide persistent highlight pane. When I click on that, we get our persistent highlight sets. These sets control the terms that appear highlighted on your document. The highlighting is going to appear both in viewer and extracted text mode. If you don't have a document with a native file and just have an image file, you'll need to rely on the extracted text. And I'll show you an example of that later. So the first couple of things to notice is you can interact with this pane. You can turn your highlight sets on and off. So since we're doing just a privilege review, I'm gonna remove the terms. That just turns it off for this document and I can minimize it and I can also show the terms lists. If I just wanted to see specific terms, I can check and uncheck those terms as well. So in addition to interacting with your terms in the pane, you can also navigate the terms in your documents using these arrow icons here. Go to previous highlight and go to next highlight. When we click on that, it takes you to the line item in this Excel spreadsheet which says legal. And when you continue clicking, it's going to take you through the document. You can see here we've now navigated to sheet two and we are taken to exactly the place where we need to see where this term exists on this document. And we can also navigate back to the previous terms by the same method using the back arrow. So if we're going to move into another document, you can see here we have a Word document and the interaction is much the same. Here we have our term privilege and we can navigate to it. And when we navigate to the end of the document, it tells us we've reached the end of the document, there's no more terms. And when you navigate to a term, it changes from the term color to this purple to let you know that that term hit is where you are. In your document. So I will just navigate to another couple of documents to serve as an example of the persistent highlighting across different document types. Here we have a Microsoft uh, Outlook document and the highlighting works just the same as the other types and another Word document. So if we're using um, a document that for instance, has no natives. I'll navigate out and we can go into our incoming productions. A lot of times where you're gonna find this. And I'll start my review. This document here, as you can see, there is no native document, just an image. We can navigate to the extracted text. We can find the term hits that are available. In this set, there aren't any privileged terms, um, just our search terms, but you can see that the text highlights um, and you can interact with it in exactly the same way as when you're in the native file. You can navigate your term hits, you can turn the terms on and off. Um, so if you're working on a specific review, you don't have to see all the term hits for the other documents. You can see here we have our Excel file that was provided in native and here are our term hits highlighted for us in the native, in addition to the extracted text. So even though there isn't a cross-reference against the extracted text back to the image, you can at least still get a sense of where the term hit is in your document and give you a clearer picture of why that document is 
um, responsive or, or relevant to your search. So this is the nuts and bolts of how to use persistent highlight sets. We have our persistent highlight set highlight pane. We have the terms that we can interact with um, in the pane to make our review seamless. And we can navigate across term hits within your document. Thanks for joining me today and happy reviewing.